top of our first giant sequoia Whitaker Forest, University of California Berkeley holding. And you can see the sun is about to set over the central valley out there. Pretty amazing. And a tree that we're attached to is about eight inches in diameter, whereas it started out as multiple feet. We're over 250 feet above the ground. Mark is making his Last little moves up here to the canopy. You can see his helmet down there. We are setting our lines as high as we can tonight and hopefully returning in the morning 
and our objective is to collect all these seed cones. Here is the ideal seed cone at the top of tree 157. There are literally thousands of them around. You can see. There's also plenty of these other cones, check it out, um, which have already released their seeds. And you can see they've opened up their bracts already and probably dropped their seeds to the forest floor or into the wind. The ones where the bracts are closed, however, and it looks like they've been aging up here for a while, are, are prime. Hey, Mark. Oh, yeah. yeah, look at the size of that seed bag he has hanging there. I think it's to be pretty heavy. It's making it awful hard to move around up in the tree. Ken said his dream goal for the project was 20 bushels, but he would be overjoyed with just 10. After the first two days of collecting, we managed to bring down 11 bushels. Our object is nine bushels and is currently noon. Our other uh, COE instructors are currently jugging the lines to get in position to start collecting and lowering these seeds for University of California at Berkeley. Mark climbed about half of this tree yesterday and I came and finished it off this morning. Um, a lot of effort getting into these trees, although it's, it's, not, it's not difficult, it does take a lot of energy. Ooh, look, there's Colin up there. As you can see, Hi, they're Colin. rather large. This one is probably close to 300 feet tall. At the end of three days of seed collection, our Cornell crew managed to gather Ken's dream goal of 20 bushels. After two days averaging around five bushels a day on our final day of collection, we had refined our techniques enough to manage to pull down nine overflowing bushels in one day. All right, here we are in California, climbing redwoods. Turns out climbing redwoods is a lot different in many ways from climbing eastern trees. And in one of those aspects is how uh, it's pulling your ropes down at the end of the day. It's a little bit more tension up there. Here's our method. There we go. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Yahoo! Not too hard. Not too hard to lock off here on the ATC when uh, there's oh, 300 feet of rope beneath you. And here we go. See you on the ground. See that? 50 meters. That was halfway. <laughs> There we are. Whoa. 
300 feet, rappel down, giant loop way up. Oh, yeah, yeah. But the